With the holidays approaching, it makes one look back and see how it's been a year since Bridgerton premiered and made waves in Netflix, perfect for those seeking a holiday romance-themed series. We may not witness the show's second season this holiday, but rejoice and be glad, because for today, we'll be talking about Bridgerton Season 2's release date, cast, trailer, and everything we know so far, so keep on watching for more info. Firstly, what's the storyline for this upcoming season? For a season focused on the eldest Bridgerton daughter, Daphne's romance, this time around the focus will be on the eldest son of the Bridgerton brood, Anthony. Second season will be deriving its source from Julia Quinn's second book, The Viscount Who Loved Me, and will focus on Anthony's quest to find love in the classic rom-com trope. In an interview with Variety, showrunner Von Dusen shared some of his thoughts about the eldest Bridgerton son's story next season, saying, We pick up Anthony after we've seen what he's been through with his mistress. He's thinking, was that love? Some would call it that, others would not. We're exploring those concepts of duty and honor once again. Phoebe Dinevor also said that they'll be passing on the baton to Jonathan Bailey as the lead of the show, along with Simone Ashley and Fret Not will most likely be seeing most of the Bridgerton siblings' love stories, seeing how there's eight of them. Netflix already greenlit the highly rated Regency romance for seasons four and five last May. So if you want to get ahead, of the storyline, then you might be well start reading Julia Quinn's books. So who are the lead characters of Bridgerton Season 2? As stated before, the spotlight will be falling on Jonathan Bailey as Anthony Bridgerton. The English actor is the recipient of the 2019 Lawrence Oliver Award for Best Actor in a Supporting Role in a Musical for his portrayal of Jamie in the 2018 West End Revival of Company. Compared to the first season, we'll be seeing a different side of his character, which Bailey himself revealed in an interview with People. He wasn't smiling that much. He's not a very happy man. Bailey commented on his character last season. He sort of seems to be the embodiment of how society is really sort of messed up, like the patriarchal society for men and women, and so it's good to show how bad men can be and how controlling they can be, and specifically with Daphne as a C-blocker. Playing opposite Bailey as his leading lady is none other than British actress Simone Ashley, who's widely recognized for her role as Olivia Hannon in another one of Netflix's hit series, Sex Education. The actress describes her character, Kate Sharp as sporty and competitive. She listens to her own instincts and she's not easily swayed by what everyone else is doing. Ashley tells Elle of her character. We meet her in different vulnerable moments and discover her background a little bit more in the family trauma that she holds. There's a lot of common cause for an audience to relate to her. She may be one of the newest faces on set, but the 26-year-old actress fits right into the cast members. In an interview with Elle published last October, Ashley details how it's like working on a set, which she describes as always busy, something the actress is grateful for since she doesn't like being idle. Aside from that, she also shared that co-actress Dinavor has been a great help for her on set, especially when one time when the newcomer was feeling stressed on set. She's so lovely, Ashley sang praise to Dinavor. There was one week I was feeling quite stressed out about certain things and she took me to a reformer Pilates class. That was really nice. And we just had some girl time. But it wasn't just Dinavor who had been a big help to her since Ashley also stated that the whole cast is so supportive of one another. Showrunner Shonda Rhimes share major update about Bridgerton Season 2 and shares upcoming new project. Netflix's beloved Regency drama couldn't come fast enough, but thankfully, showrunner and executive producer Shonda Rhimes was gracious enough to share an update with the fans. In an interview with Adweek, the critically acclaimed producer said that Roger Jean Page, Season 1's dashing Simon Bassett, won't be returning this time around, but she did promise that Season 2's love story will be as compelling as Simon and Daphne's romance. Everybody was so upset about Roger not coming back as the Duke, and I said early on on our goal is that every season you have a couple that you're obsessed with and that you can't believe that we're not going to see more of in their next story next season because we're telling a complete love story every season, Rhyme shared with that week. But she also added on a promising note, and that's the beauty of what season two is. We're halfway through editing all the episodes and they're gorgeous. So at least we have a silver 
lining despite Paige's absence next season. Fans were disheartened to see the Duke of Hastings make an exit which was announced this year. Though the previous season's lead man left, Phoebe Denevor, who portrays Daphne Bridgerton, will return this upcoming season. And that's all there is to it. As per Netflix's co-CEO Ted Sarandos' request, Rhymes is also in the middle of writing a prequel series based on Queen Charlotte, which caught her eye since the start. I was obsessed with Queen Charlotte from the beginning, and the way that character has been created is so beautifully done. And the real history of who she is is super interesting. The story of her marriage, the entire thing, said Rhymes. And we're getting this fascinating Meghan Markle Harry period that felt like it was part of the conversation again. If you all remember, Queen Charlotte's husband was King George III, who was known as the Mad King and was popularized because of the hit musical Hamilton. For Rhymes, he sees the king as a really complex and interesting man, and portraying the royal couple's story would be an interesting story to tell. When is Bridgerton Season 2's premiere? So far, there's been no release date announced for Bridgerton Season 2, but filming already wrapped up in late November of this year, which was confirmed when co-creator and showrunner Chris Van Dusen posted a photo of himself hugging the two leads of the upcoming season, Jonathan Bailey and Simone Ashley. So proud of this cast and crew who brought their A-games to work each and every day in this very challenging year, Van Dusen wrote in the caption. And those two in this photo with me right here, words are not enough. I mean, in 2022. Usually shows like Bridgerton take six months to a year before they return for the next season, but because of the ongoing health crisis, they were forced to halt production, and when they resumed, pretty slow because of the health protocols. But since editing for season two is halfway done, we think it'll premiere sometime in March to May 2022. But of course, this is just speculation. And the fans got quite the treat too, since Bridgerton released a global event titled The Queen's Ball, A Bridgerton Experience. It's an immersive event where fans get to experience firsthand what it's like to live in Regency-era London. There's also another event called the Bridgerton Ball that's taking place in a secret location in London starting February 2022. What else do I need to know about Bridgerton next season? Bridgerton doesn't stray too far from Julia Quinn's novels, and there are very few creative liberties taken by the showrunners in the show. However, there's a growing theory of what could happen in season two, and fans have been talking about the probable return of Lord Featherington. Ben Miller, who portrays the character, hinted in an interview with Radio Times about his possible return. In season one, we saw Lord Featherington's fate cut short due to his untimely passing, but there's hope may see his return. Coming back to death, in paradise, I remember I said to the producer, pretty sure I had an ice pick stuck in my chest. He said, don't you worry, we've got our way around it. And yeah, sure enough, I managed to get back and I love the episode of Death in Paradise. So yeah, everything's possible. I hope they don't wait for 10 seasons of Bridgerton to get to this. Miller also took the time to share his thoughts on how grand Bridgerton is in hindsight, calling it surreal. It was the most enormous TV show. I mean, the most enormous production I've ever seen or been involved it was like shooting three big feature films at the same time. Other than Ben Miller, who is rumored to appear next season, we're pretty much seeing the rest of the cast members resume their respective roles in season two, as well as a few new faces, including Charitha Chandron, who will play Edwina Sharma, Kate's younger sister, Shelley Kahn as Mary Sharma, Kate's mother, Calum Lynch as the hardworking printer's assistant, Theo Sharp, and Rupert Young, who will play a character named Jack. That sums up today's episode about everything you need to know about Bridgerton Season 2. Are you just as excited as we are next season? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on, and we'll see you next time.